former lead counsel for the World Bank. She turned whistleblower, attorney Karen Hudes. Perfect. Karen Hudes, can you give uh, the audience a little background on yourself? Yes, I'm a lawyer and an economist, and I worked in the legal department of the World Bank for 20 years. I did what a lawyer inside a bank is supposed to do, which is when the financial information was getting fiddled, I reported it up the corporate ladder. I went to the audit committee. When that didn't work, I went to the U.S. Treasury Department. When that didn't work, I went to the U.S. Congress. When that didn't work, I went to Ben Bernanke. When that didn't work, I went I to the rest name. of the world. I know that name. I've heard that name. Yeah. And when that didn't work, I went to the rest of the world. And that's where we are now. We're with the rest of the world. That there is um, a special trust that contains just about all of the world's gold. It was established by Ferdinand Marcos. He, um, this gold, people want to know what the gold is. It's right You're referring to the president of the Philippines, of the, ex, of the former president of the Philippines who died in 89, correct? That's correct. That's who, except, you know, it's not clear about the exact date of his death because he had a cousin who, you know, he was removed. He was removed by the CIA was not by a popular uprising. You know how, how the CIA stages these things. And he was sent off to Hawaii, but he had expected that this was gonna happen and he had gotten his cousin to stand in for him. So he was actually, it was his cousin that was um, in Hawaii captive. Yeah. But, but anyway, what Ferdinand Marcos did was he took the world's gold. I was explaining what is the world's gold. It's gold from King Solomon. It's gold that the conquistadors in Spain gathered up from the Aztec and Inca civilizations. It is gold that was gathered by General Yamashita between um, World War I and World War II. And what the banks did when they gathered up the gold, they issued certificates to the wealthy people who had the gold. And those certificates had interest that was payable in gold. And the interest has been compounding. What Ferdinand Marcos did was he put the gold in a trust for benefit of humanity. And he did. He said that the, the trust would be for 50 years. The reason he did this, he, he was a lawyer and he knew that if somebody claims that they own something and they are not able to prove their claim for 50 years, that claim is extinguished. That's a legal concept called statute of limitations. 